In this video we are going to look at how to date vintage Marks & Spencer lingerie, that have the famous blue scent Michael label, focusing on the 1950s, 60s and 70s. For more information on how to accurately date St. Michael labels please visit the more comprehensive info guide on nylonnostalgia.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking this little red button here. By 1954, Marks & Spencer offered no less than 27 different styles of nylon slip in their stores. That's amazing. The St. Michael lingerie brand became synonymous with quality and choice. Here are some distinguishing features of 1950s St. Michael labels. The distinctive handwritten logo style was first introduced in 1951. The St. Michael logo was tilted slightly anticlockwise to make room for the letters registered. The letters for registered were always in uppercase after St. Michael. Please visit nylonnostalgia.com for many more vintage label dating tips. Now let's look at the 1960s. In the 60s the logo was usually enclosed in a parallelogram shaped box. Usually, there was an R in a circle instead of registered, after the St. Michael logo. 1960s St. Michael labels will usually say, made in Britain. The first washing symbols were introduced in 1966. More detailed wash care instructions were introduced on St. Michael labels from March 1968. Now let's look at how to identify and date St. Michael labels of the 1970s. Made in UK starts to replace Made in Britain on St. Michael labels as of 1970. By 1973 nearly all the famous blue labels had been phased out and replaced with the size within a red circle. As of mid-1972, Marks & Spencer started selling garments in their Canadian stores with CA codes being shown on labeling. These labels also had some information written in French. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit nylonnostalgia.com for more information about vintage lingerie. See you in the next video.